Somebody asked me about the embankment of snowdrops that I planted last year from a lot of seedlings. And this is the embankment, all these plants you can see. You can see the snowdrops all the way along there. So every year now, this will increase in the number of snowdrops that are here. And it's a, yes, pup. It's a beautiful big snowdrop. This is the flower. And then these are the leaves. So they're much broader and bigger than normal, uh, normal snowdrop leaves. So these are a hybridized one that was given to me by a friend. She gave me a handful five or six years ago and it's grown and multiplied into this embankment. It goes all the way around the corner over there and all the way back here. So if you look at the size of this leaf against my hand, I'll go over here and show you these snowdrops. They're pretty much over. You can see their seed heads there. And look at the size of that leaf. So you can tell that's different. And this is the flower of this one as well. It's a smaller flower compared to the one over here. Sorry. So you can see this is a huge flower compared to the other one. So this is going to be beautiful. Give it another few years and this will, this curve of this hill will be a whole drift of these giant snowdrops. And I've just planted these black stemmed dogwoods. Two of them. One here and one right there. And I will prune these, both of these, over the next number of years and I will propagate them so that they will be these black spikes in amongst the snowdrops. So it should look rather dramatic, or at least that's what I'm hoping. So this is uh, uh, Susan Fitzgerald suggested I um, get these. It's a kind of dogwood with these black stems. So they should look rather dramatic once there's a drift of snowdrops with these black stems uh, coming up from amongst them. So someday, if I'm around, hopefully I will be, uh, this will be a rather beautiful drift all the way along with these black spikes, etc. Isn't that right, Bear? You're a good boy. You can see the cow parsley is greening up. Here's the wood anemone is greening up. Here's this delicious herb that is a cleanser. It's, people call it Sticky Willy. Or Robert, Robin Run the Hedge. All kinds of names it gets. But it sticks in dog's coats, doesn't it? There, you've got a lovely, look at you. You've got an elegant little, oh, I can't think what it's called. Fascinator, bear, you look so adorable with your fascinator on. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like his fascinator. You don't like your fascinator? <laughs> bear with his fascinator on. Oh, he's got a stick. You clever dog. <laughs> and you watching the goings on. You beautiful kitty. Yeah, you beautiful kitty. Yeah.